I'm Eli Martin. I'm going to be interviewing Mrs. Morrissey today. So, Miss Morrissey, question one. What is your favorite word? Oh, goodness. I don't have a favorite word. I don't know. Well, you have to pick one. How about, how about serendipity? Okay, I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, number two, what is your least favorite word? Uh, it sucks. How about a phrase? Sucks. Why? Because it's very negative. Does Jake say it a lot? No. Oh. It's an S word. You can't say it. <laughs> what sound or noise do you love? I don't know. How about rain falling? That's a good one. Other than teaching, what profession would you most like to do? You know, all the, all the uh, aptitude tests that I took in high school said I should be a dentist. <laughs> but I could never imagine being a dentist because it would be gross to have to dig around in people's mouths. Especially gross, unhygienic mouths would just be Maybe horrible. worth it for the salary, though. Yeah. <laughs> That's what my dad tells me. <laughs> um, what, prof what profession would you never want to do? I don't, was that on the list? Yep. Okay. Never <laughs> want to do. I would never want to do something super dangerous. Okay. That like, makes sense. <laughs> like be a tree cutter, a lumber guy. How's that? That's a With good a chainsaw. Because then you would have to be a guy also. So. You could do it as a woman. <laughs> you said lumber guy. Okay. <laughs> Where were you born? Denver, Colorado. What is your favorite high school memory? I would say my favorite high school memory is um, when Peggy Beckett was being a bully to a friend who wasn't really my friend, Pam Parker, and that's how we became best friends. And we've been, fr I've known her since kindergarten, we've been fr best friends ever since. Oh, wow. Because Peggy Beckett wouldn't give her a ride to our dance practice even though she lived next door to her. <laughs> so I said, I will give you a ride. Well, that's nice. <laughs> what is your favorite college memory? Uh, my favorite college memory is probably just graduating, getting it done. Where'd you go to college? Long Beach State. And then I got my teacher credential from San Francisco State. Sweet. If you were an animal, which animal would you want to be and why? Probably like to be a bald eagle so I could fly around. <laughs> That's cool. What is your favorite season? I like fall. Why? Because I like the changing of the leaves and after a hot summer, I like the coolness and the change of weather. Do you go to Starbucks and get pumpkin spice lattes? No, I don't like pumpkin things. Oh, okay. I don't like pumpkin pie. Oh, but. do you like pecan pie? No. <laughs> do you like any pie? I like fruit pie, blackberry pie. Those are okay. <laughs> uh, what is your least favorite book assigned to students for English and why? I don't know, I, gosh, um, I probably, I haven't taught it in a long time, I haven't taught it since I was in San Francisco, it would probably be um, Huck Finn just because it's lengthy and I taught it in inner city school so the, the racial aspect of it was difficult. Mm, okay. Okay, so this is a moral dilemma question. Imagine you are driving a car without brakes. The only two ways to stop are by turning right, which kills the passenger, or by turning left, which kills the pedestrian. The pedestrian is a small child, and the uh, passenger is an elderly woman that you know. Does Which the, way do you does the small, small child have a name? Uh, Stacia. <laughs> does my passenger have a name? Old Stacia. <laughs> well, I'd probably only have one older person driving in my car as a passenger, and I'd probably kill that person. <laughs> okay. That'd be, that's an easy one. What is the most impactful moment of your life, and why? Probably uh, getting married because it's set forth the rest of my life. So sweet. What is your favorite movie and quote from this movie? Okay, I don't really have a favorite movie. Um, I, I don't, I live in a male dominated household. I don't really get to watch movies that I like to watch or TV shows. So, uh, but the only lines from movies that I know are like, um, uh, you're killing me smalls from, <laughs> Sandlot, uh, The Dude Abides from The Big Lebowski. Uh, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. <laughs> Apocalypse now. Okay, classics. <laughs> what is your favorite dance move? Okay, um, I don't know if it has a name. Will you demonstrate it? <laughs> sure. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Are you sure you're ready? Yes. Okay, here I go. 
How was that? <laughs> that was terrible. I would give you a zero out of 10 and you would be kicked out of the show if this was a dancing competition. I thought it was really good. <laughs> well, maybe practice a little more. <laughs> if you could go back in time and change anything, what would it be? The, okay, this is really hokey, but um, the way we've treated our Earth with regard to pollution. That makes sense. Uh, what is your take on communism? That's an odd question. <laughs> uh, sounds good in theory, not really good in practice. How's that? It's a very practical look on that, Alex. Economic type of girl. <laughs> Roblox or Minecraft? Okay, I don't know what Roblox is, so <laughs> probably Minecraft, and I don't really know what that is either, except that I know you build things. We don't have video games in my house. Well, Minecraft, they say, is a little more advanced, but uh, Roblox, you could, there's a lot more possibilities. Okay. <laughs> Would you rather your husband have a buzz cut or a mullet for the rest of his life? That's a hard one. Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> That's a great way to go. <laughs> Imagine you were on death row. What is your last meal? Uh, I was talking about this with somebody and they said, you know, you should go to the all-you-can-eat all buffet. <laughs> Loopholes. <laughs> all right, Stacia, those were all the questions. Thank all you right. for your time. Thank you, Eli. Thank you, Mr. Martin.